welcome back to Thunder RC and I've got an exciting video for you the Ford Traxxas Raptor Edition versus the Traxxas X Max had the Traxxas Rustler tires on there and I want to see how it does running 3S a big bore 800 kV hobby wing motor with the hobby wing max 5 and about a pound of electrical tape it then nothing will y'all the X Max is legendary now my battery flew out because I don't have the battery straps in there and I need to put them in I just had them taped in but looks like I got kind of lucky with the battery that's good 
Let's see what's, what's going on inside the truck here. Yeah, all looks good. I can't believe it, y'all. Wow. With the 800 kV motor, this thing is held up. I mean, I can't believe it. I've had chassis slaps. I mean, wow. What a beast. X-Max is king, king, king. is as bad as it gets, y'all. What a savage beast. No. I'm gonna go down saying this is the toughest truck I own. I know I say that all the time, but have you ever seen something like that? That'll broke anything. It's one of the toughest. I, uh, I don't know. Maybe yeah. it's not the toughest, but I how? How did it drive away from that? I think it flips better without the body. Oh yeah, the body's pretty, but it's, you know, it's just not a bashing body. I gotta figure out a different body setup for it. My lights aren't too happy. <laughs> not bad. Like the spur gear. 
Okay, so we finally broke this thing. Wow, it took a lot. Looks like the stock servo just broke at the mounts. Little ears busted off. Uh, so I have to replace the servo. And it sounds like the pinion gear fell off. Either that or I chewed up the spur gear. But what a solid tank, y'all. I have to say, like this thing really dished out some punishment today. Took didn't a whooping. Yeah, didn't break an arm, didn't break a drive shaft. I mean, wow. Didn't break the chassis. Insane, y'all. Who would have thought? Didn't even break a shock. Trax is tough. They both put up a heck of a fight. I'm really impressed. Uh, X Max landed double bump flip. The Raptor landed double bump flip. X Max landed huge back flips. Had some terrible crashes with the X Max. Also had some bad crashes with this. And this X Max being so heavy with the 800 kV motor and still not breaking has really impressed me. This truck being super durable has impressed me, but I know that it's super light. So with the truck that's super light, plastic, durability comes into play. But uh, nevertheless, uh, this thing had a hard chassis slap, broke some parts. Off camera, the X-Max had just as hard of a chassis slap to the street. And we didn't record it, and it still didn't break. I got to give this round to the X-Max. Insane. It's so heavy right now, and doesn't even have the center bracing, and it took all of that. Crazy. But this was a close second, y'all. Now. If you don't mind leaving the comments down below, I want to know your opinion. Which truck did better? Truly appreciate it. As always, you know what to do. Peace out.